Authorities in Rock County are releasing a detailed account of their investigation after the body of a man who had been missing for nine months was recovered earlier this week. Braden Ross joins us live outside the Rock County Sheriff's Office with a copy of that timeline to break it all down. Braden? That's right, guys. This 14-page document lays out every action the, Dink, or the Rock County Sheriff's Office says that they took in this case to find Christopher Miller, but their actions that the family says just aren't enough. We have had very little assistance, we feel like, from law enforcement in finding him. That's what Christopher Miller's fiance, Mallory Durst, told me back in January, two months after he went missing and nearly seven months before his body would be found. On Wednesday, the Rock County Sheriff's Office countering that claim, releasing a 14-page timeline of everything they say they did to find Miller. The 27-year-old first went missing after fleeing from state patrol officers at a traffic stop on I-90 just outside of Janesville in November. The document lays out the 13 searches for Miller conducted by law enforcement, most of which happened within the first few days after his disappearance. No searches were conducted between mid-December and April, although multiple were scheduled and later canceled due to weather. The document also lays out desperate pleas from Miller's family for law enforcement to do more, detailing more than two dozen times when they contacted the sheriff's office for more information or to ask for more searches. Throughout the winter, Miller's mother asked to meet with the sheriff's office multiple times, only to be told she had to provide her questions in writing before they would set a date. Despite the efforts laid out in the timeline, it was an anonymous tip that led investigators to an abandoned house in Beloit where they found Miller's body. It was more than six miles from where he first went missing. Now, I spoke to Miller's fiance again today. She told me that she never got a copy of this uh, document when it was sent out. Now, we'll keep you updated on this story as we get new information right here on News 3 Now and on Channel3000.com. For now, in Rock County, Braden Ross, News 3 Now.